Hi guys, let's fill some text with image. Head on over to my Redbubble store and see this design on so many more products. Now I will show you how you can also create the same design. Let's start by creating a design. Click on create a design and choose a custom size. I will be using 4500 by 5400 pixels for this. We are going to type in a text. You can actually uh, do um, single letters or you can type out the phrase by itself or you can do a by word, whichever suits you. Uh, if you had seen my previous video on how we can fill the text with image, uh, you would uh, see that I have you I have the separated individual letters and arrange them accordingly. So if you want to do something like that, do be sure to check out that video. I will leave a link in the description box below. Also, you can find the link uh, if you click on the icon above. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, I'm just going to type in a sentence. Uh, maybe just uh, like you are enough. Okay. So I'm going to just keep all each of them in one line or maybe three letters in one line and I'm going to increase the size. I want this letter to be here. I want the wordings in the picture to be here. So I'm just going to align it such and I don't want so much gap in between. So I will be reducing the line spacing. Okay. So I can increase this size further. I don't want to fill it. I just want it to, uh, to be. If you want it to be half half or no, half picture and half uh, text, you can uh, arrange accordingly. I want it something like this. Yeah. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the heading. And I'm going to download this. Uh, be sure not to check the transparent background because we want the background. Okay, so we are going to download this. Okay. We are going to go to this website called photopea.com. And from here we are going to open the file that we just downloaded from the computer. This is over here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select and do a color range. If you remember uh, or if you have watched my earlier videos on how we could create a clipping art or clipping mask, you would know that uh, this is uh, something that we use. Uh, so you click on color range. We are going to get rid of the black text. So move your cursor. To your main workspace and click on the color that you want to get rid of so once you click it you see that the color changes over here click on ok okay you see that it is uh, selected so we want to uh, delete this so now you see that this area is transparent so uh, in a way you can say that you have created a clipping mask over here so we are going to go to file and export this file as a PNG file. Okay, and I'm just going to change the name of this transparent text file. Okay, I'm going to save this. Once it is downloaded to your device, we are going to go back and we're going to upload this. PNG file onto your Canva. So this is our transparent text file. So I'm going to upload this. Okay, once that is done, I'm going to add a page. Okay, 
I'm going to bring this over here. See that it's not very really visible, but I was just want to you know, uh, resize this. Don't make it a background. If you just uh, detach it, I don't want it to be attached as a background. I'm just uh, open it a little further on. So that's not a background. Okay. Now I want to choose a photo. You can choose any photo that you like. Uh, I want to use this photo. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to place this behind. And so this one turned into a background. So I'm going to detach it again. Okay, see that it is actually taking the part of the clipping mask already. So I want to resize the image to fit the screen. Okay, something like this. And I want to resize this as well. So once this is done, once this is done, you can see that you have this over here. Okay, so what we are going to do is if it keeps uh, getting uh, white, then uh, we just do a command Z and it will come right back up. So I want to save this file. I'm going to download this. Remember again, not a transparent background. Don't check it. So I'm going to download H2. If you want to change the background of your image, this is the time to do it. If you want to leave it as wide, just follow my step. Okay, I'm going to add another page and I'm going to upload the file I just downloaded. Okay, this is the one. give it some time to load okay I'm going to resize this and so resize I'm going to crop it so that it is like here okay now I'm going to go to photos and I'm going to check this working and I'm going to send her to the and I'm going to resize her. Okay, resize in such a way that you know uh, she is. Uh, it looks uh, very visible. Like uh, she is. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but you know, if, if nothing you play around with it, uh, you know, nothing should be out of place. You know? If it is a nose or the chin or anything so if you're following uh, the guidelines it will be uh, like uh, if the guides will snap it into place so you don't have to worry too much about it so once that is done you can put them together and you can resize them together or if you want you can download it and then uh, keep it as a separate picture upload it as a separate picture and then resize it no, you can do various things with it so this is how you fill a text with image I uh, hope you had fun or learned something new. You can get a 30 day trial for Canva Pro. Click on the link in the description box below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.